Splitting AB deck, part of the bottom of a car boot using split works. First we split the part with the split part menu, saving it at the same time. We have used the top face as the cavity direction and request it to show parting lines and move all the no draft faces belonging to the core and the cavity to the respective groups. Now we split the bottom side or straddle faces which completes the definition of the cavity around the holes and the borders which have curved faces. Next we create the Splitworks feature tree containing groups of faces including the core, cavity and side core as well as the closed, yellow and open pink parting lines. Now we use standard SOLIDWORKS tools to finish splitting the part while all the time getting a dynamic feedback from Splitworks modifying the face colors and parting line definitions. Here we open a sketch on this face and convert the line defining the border between the core and cavity on the slope to cut the adjacent edges. After defining the line we use the split line function to cut the relevant faces and finally the draft function to draft them towards the cavity. To update the parting line for display, we move the no draft faces belonging to the core. Here are some small intrusive core areas which we will cut and draft to move them to the cavity in the same manner as before. This no draft face obviously belongs to the core. Next we deal with the overhang which is also an unexfractable using the same methodology as before which means creating a split line, splitting the relevant faces and drafting in the cavity direction. Now we are left with a, filtered, a filleted core face which has to be moved to the cavity. A useful trick in this case is to delete the fillets, draft the resulting face and then refillet the corners. Notice that as we are working, the parting lines are updating as well as the face colouring. Here we have found a slither of a core face inside the cavity, which we did not notice before and in fact can see it only because of Splitworks graphics. We draft it to the cavity. Finally this hole has to be closed, but first we divide it properly between the core and cavity using SOLIDWORKS sketches and the split line.
We choose not to draft these faces, but just move them to the cavity. Finally, we see all our parting lines as yellow. We can also see that there are cavity faces in the core area. Obviously, we will need side cores to track these areas, but we will deal with that later. Using the Splitworks feature tree, we show only the cavity faces and use the face selection tool to move these faces to a different group. We can also use a specialized splitworks function called Island Analysis, which marks the non-connected islands of any group of faces, i.e. cavities, and allows manipulation of these groups separately, moving them to a different group until only the main group remains. Next, we create the surface from the cavity group and close the holes with the plug holes menu. Now, we use some splitworks tools to create the parting surface. First, we create some parting surfaces using the loft tool, which lofts along selected boundary edges or vertices and creates a projected surface or surfaces if it cannot do this in one action. We can give the loft direction by angle or reference edge and the distance or a vertice to reach. A warning that the loft will be created piece by piece is given, since it cannot create a single surface. Once completed, it knits these surfaces together with the original one. Next, we will divide the rest of the side into planar areas by creating lofts at the end of the planar sections. Now we fill in the planar areas using the Splitworks Chain Edge menu on the right hand mouse button. In conjunction with the Splitworks Planar surface also on the right hand mouse button, which closes the planar areas, creates a surface and knits it to the main surface. Next, we do the same for the following side, this time making a slightly longer loft, which also works piecewise.
After creating a loft at the beginning of the side as well, we use the chain edges and planar surface as before to finish the side. On the next side, which is quite complex, we will use the loft in one action. This will also work piecewise and leave holes in the surface which we will fix using the same chain edge planar surface system. Finally, we will loft the relatively simple fourth side. Next, we check to see that the surface has no cracks in it using the Select Open Loop selection from SolidWorks. and using the plug holes from Splitworks to check that there are no holes in the surface either. We now use the Create Solid Insert menu which opens a new assembly, adds a part and creates both core and cavity inserts. To complete the splitting, we need to create the side course, which can also be created with splitworks. Check out our other videos on the subject.